Hey guys, I thought I'd show you some Great Northern Buckman Spectrum Heavyweight Pullman coaches. Uh, these ones come with lights and stored, but they are pretty crap. So we're going to pull them out and put nice LED strip lighting in. So I'll show you. So I think the issue with these are they've got a weird pickup system here, which is just a piece of aluminium foil. And they got pickups on the one side and on the one side. Um, I'll pop it on the track and show you guys what it looks like on the track. Um, it's got one bulb at the top and it's got like a weird piece of plastic foam at the top that disperses the light. So not ideal, probably good for back in the day, but for what we're doing now, I think a complete overall, complete upgrade is probably on the cards. Okay guys, as you can see, it's got a little light in the center there. It's actually got a bit of paint, paint bleed through the roof. That's with the fluorescent light on, fluorescent light off. So you pretty much only have this little section here that's lit. Um, I'll zoom in a bit closer and see if I can show you. They got nice detail on the inside, but the problem is the lighting. So we're gonna change that, do a nice LED strip, and that should spruce it up a bit, I reckon. Okay guys, so it's a bit of a different angle. I've got someone helping me today with a camera setup. Um, so we're gonna try and pull this apart. It's got these little tabs underneath. I don't know if the camera is showing it. So you, you press these little tabs in. Both sides. I think it's got six. Yeah, it's got six. That side and that side. Then the whole roof section literally just popped up. So the issue I think is these little tabs here. They go in and it's just like a little press fit thing. It's got one little bulb in the center section there. I don't know if you can see it too well on camera. And it just disperses the light all the way through. It's a simple system, but it's a bit of a silly system. Um, and it's got those little tabs in the center there. I don't know if you can zoom in on them too good. And quite an interesting thing, the wheels move the coupler as well. I'll spin it around and show you. So it's got a little bit of a, a piston system, crank system inside, which I thought was quite neat for the age of this coach. All right, so I'm going to strip them down. We've got about nine of them. Strip them down and we'll put some nice LEDs in them and see what they look like on the track. Okay, guys, so I've pulled this one apart. I'm just going to show you what, I'm, what the plan with this is. So unscrew the floor tabs, the interiors. Just got two little screws. Right. Now that section lifts out. And then it's got a bit of a, a weight at the bottom. We'll pull that section out. And it's got these little, I don't know if it's going to come up on camera. It's got these little screws. We're undoing them as well. Uh, maybe not. We won't be using these screws again, so I'm not too worried where they go. Just don't want them lying loose and rattling away. Okay, so the idea is undo that. We're keeping the wires. I'll sh you go. There we, this method to the madness. So we're keeping the wires on that side and the ones on that side. I'm going to pop the count, uh, the weight back in. And I'm popping the floors back in. Now, the trick here is you want the wire out so we can actually run it into both sides of the LED strip. So one wire will go in the one end and the other wire will go in the other end. All right, we're going to screw the floor back in place because there's no need to have the floors on lying loose. So that's pretty much what we're going to be sitting with, two wires. So this will go into one side of the strip, the other one into the other side of the strip, and we'll see what the pickup's like. If, the, if it's quite glitchy or flickery, we might have to make an adjustment, put a bridge rectifier in, and put in a capacitor into the strip. But I think it should be suffice. I think this should do well with, in terms of pickup. Um, I'm sticking these little bits of insulation tape in here just to blacken out these rear windows. Um, I found that if I don't do this, you can actually see the wires running through the back and I think that looks horrible so rather 
sacrifice the two end windows and you don't see um, you don't have the chance of seeing all this wiring so cutting these end bits off here like with all the other coaches you got to make sure the sides go onto the right sides the right side goes on the right side because they only go on one way just zoom that in so you can see what I'm doing there uh, all right so So a little bit of solder on the one side. I've already glued the strip on the inside and I've tinted the one side of the LED strip. Uh, so positive, negative, one on one, but it doesn't matter because it's DCC, positive, negative the whole time. So you don't really have to pay too much attention to positive and negative in this instance. Right, and then like we've disassembled it, just clip the roof in, make sure that's all nice and free, and that's it, done. Okay, so that's it done pretty much, that is Buckman coaches and coach lining done. What I'll do is switch off the power so you can see the difference in it. Now, as with all DC stuff on DCC, you can hear a bit of a hum, but that's nothing to be concerned of. These wheels will need a bit of cleaning as well, to be honest. And I'll just show you, so those are the blackened out windows that I've done, just so that you don't see the wires running through the back. And I think that's probably the way to do it, rather than seeing the nasty wires on the inside. I probably should have done that with that coach as well in hindsight.